yo, on this path to losing weight, no matter how many times I've ever done it, it seems like it always gets more difficult every time. Yo, since I last said, it wouldn't be overreaction Saturday if I didn't sit here with overreaction. Like, I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> and it's like, I know that every time I do this, it's like I have to go that much harder because of all the work I put in before. But it's been like two to three weeks. I haven't lost no pounds. If anything, I gained pounds. I think the last time I did this, I was, what, 191? I'm 194 now. And yeah, I've been lifting weights, but... And you know what? If I'm keeping it 100, I've been... Junk food been getting the best of me. <laughs> I haven't had sweets like that, though. I will say I have given up the sweets, but junk food has gotten me. So this is this is this one has been difficult. This journey it continues to be difficult. Um, but you know, I gotta really tighten up my diet. I really gotta tighten up everything. I really gotta look across the board. I really gotta look at my myself in the mirror very honestly. Like, yo, bro, cut the junk food out. Eat more vegetables. Eat steamed vegetables. Drink two cups of water when you first wake up. I gotta do all of that stuff. And marathon training is not easy, especially when you're trying to go after the sub three. I'm going to get the sub three, though. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Today's run got cut short because of stomach problems. But <laughs> if you ever, if you were running on it, you've been there. I wanted to do six miles. It's my first day with these. It's my first day with these. The Adidas SL2. I'm not <laughs> off, the, off of the jump. Am I loving these? Yes. And I know... And these are the SL one. And I know when I first got these, I did give them a bad. <laughs> I kind of didn't understand why they made these. Um, but with the second ver the second version and running these more, I, I kind of un I understand it way more. Because at the time, it was just like, why would I buy this when I, could buy the, when I could buy the Adidas Pro 3? And it's just like, maybe you don't want the puck. I mean, not the puck. Maybe you didn't want the any type of help from a plate, a rod. Uh, well, I forgot they was calling it a shank. You didn't want that extra pop. You just wanted a regular daily trainer. And this, um, I think that this is a really, I thought this is a really solid daily training. Like after using it over and over and over again, I think this is a really solid daily training. I think they continue to do that. And I only ran three miles. I wanted to do six. I was trying to hit the track, but the stomach got in the way. But to keep this kind of short and brief, because like I said, three miles in the shoe, you don't know, you don't even know it. Three miles in this, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. Three miles in this, it feels very responsive off the rip. It feels very responsive. I feel like I could be very fast. And it doesn't feel, I feel, I still have ground feel, which is which is good. Um, overall, I'm liking this. This might be the thing that gets me in shape. This is probably, I might do all of my daily miles in this. On the search for the daily trainer coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. But yeah, I'm liking this. They definitely made the change. They made the changes to the upper. I'll go in detail how I feel about this compared to the Boston 12. I don't. I think this this was probably in line with the Boston 12, and then this is probably for the Boston 13. So the Boston 13 might be crazy. But for now, I might give the edge to that. This is overreaction Saturday. Like I said, we overreacting. I'm giving the edge to this, but back to the marathon training and losing weight. I've been wait, I've been at least I've been strength training, but not losing the weight is getting to my mind. And it's like, yo, bro, I didn't cut out the I didn't cut out the starches, but I'm still doing I'm still doing things I probably shouldn't be doing. I'm not <laughs> I'm still eating. Yo, these are, don't you hate the sound of alarm? I hate the sounds of alarm, but I'm. I got to go harder. I got to go harder. I got to go harder. Because this isn't going to cut it. This isn't going to cut it. But overreaction Saturday. I'm overreacting because I'm gaining weight instead of losing it. It's been two weeks. But this is to keep it accountable. I haven't even been doing a lot of miles these weeks. I think this week I'm at 11. Last week I probably did 12. If that. I'm going to start ramping it up. Next week we start and we back to the forty mile, forty mile weeks. That's that's just it. We just going in, we going in, and then we just gonna go ahead. Cause 
Yo, it's about to be July. <laughs> and I, I can't I can't start I can't start July. Or I can't go into August 185. No. And I refuse to go into July one in in the one nineties. Like this just can't happen. It can't. I'm mentally gonna lose my mind. Mentally I'll lose my mind. But yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be overreacting to that without me sitting here overreacting. And going back to the 40 miles, I'm going to start doing a lot more 5K work. Um, make sure you guys warm up and stretch before all your runs. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you all, make sure you stretch those hips or else you will get plantar fasciitis. I did solve plantar fasciitis. I had plantar Oh, that was another thing. When I first got this, I had it was cold and I had plantar fasciitis. And I think that's another reason why I really didn't like this shoe. But we passed that now. And, you know, you really have to do 100 miles to break it in. 50 ain't enough. You got to know 100. 100 100 really tell you what a shoe is really about. But I beat Panther fasciitis. It was all about opening up the hips, stretching the hips, um, um, stretching the hamstrings, stretching the calves. That way, all of the... If those two things are tight, if the calves and the hamstrings are tight, on top of your hips being tight, the the plantar fascia is going to take most of the... Most of the um, Take on most of the strain and it's gonna get real tight. So you don't want that. So make sure you, you stretch your you stretch your hips, you stretch your hamstrings, you stretch your calves. Plantar fasciitis, gone. Promise you. But yeah, that's another this has been another overreaction time to holler at your boy.